Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel and thank you for checking out this video. For today's tutorial, we are going to show you guys how we can add patterns to our floors in Revit. But before we start, if you are new to our channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell and leave a comment down below. Thank you. So on our plan view, we are going to add a floor. We'll just select the floor icon and we are going to draw the shape of our floor. We will just keep it simple and do a square floor. We can adjust the dimension by selecting the line. And just type the dimension we want. On the properties palette, we are going to choose the floor type that we are going to use. So as you can see, we have a plain floor with no patterns on the finish. So we are going to click edit type. Then click edit on the structure. On the edit assembly, let's change this to finish. Then let's change the material. Now we are going to create new material that we are going to use. So let's rename this as Tiles1. Then on the surface pattern. In the foreground section, we are going to add a pattern. Then on this fill pattern dialog box, we have two pattern types which are drafting. So these are the patterns we can use for the drafting pattern type. And the other one is model. So these are the patterns we can use for model pattern type. So just to elaborate about the difference between the drafting and model pattern type, drafting are patterns we can use for our 2D views which are only visible on plan view, section or elevation views. However, for the model pattern type, it is visible in all views including the 3D view. So for this tutorial, we are going to use the model pattern type. Let's use this type. So another advantage of using the model pattern type is we can select the patterns like this. And we can adjust the position and rotate it according to our design. For the drafting pattern, we cannot manually rotate the pattern. Let's try another one. Let's copy this. Click edit type, and this time we are going to duplicate the finish. Then we are going to change the material. Let's create a new material again. Then rename as tile 2. Then let's choose another model pattern. Let's use this block type. So 
So we can also rotate this just like the first type that we have created. Next, we are going to show how to customize the size of the pattern according to your required dimensions. Let's copy the floor again. Click Edit Type, then Duplicate. We are going to create new material. Then we will rename it as Tile 3. On the model pattern, let's select one pattern. Then click the duplicate button. We name it as 1200 by 1200 millimeters. Then on the line spacing 1 and 2, let's update the dimension also to 1200. We can also apply a color. We can align the pattern to the edge of the floor. So let's see our floors in 3D view. As mentioned, when using the model pattern type, it will be visible also. Let's do another way to create a custom floor pattern. Let's copy the floor again. Let's change to another floor type, something plain. Then let's change the graphic display option to shaded. Select the floor and click Edit Boundary. We can draw the design that we want on our floor. For example, we draw a rectangle, circle, and polygons. Let's select shapes. Then click Copy to Clipboard. Then Finish Edit Mode. So in 3D view, we can see that the shapes that we have drawn on the floor are voids. We are going to create a floor again. Then paste from the clipboard the shapes that we have copied. We use Align to Current View. Then finish edit mode. Let's select another floor type just to create contrast. You can design whatever you want on the floor using this method. We can customize the color of our pattern also. Just edit the material and choose any color you want.
Alright, that's it for now. We hope that this tutorial has helped you guys in creating floor patterns. Please comment down below if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions of a tutorial that we should do. See you again in our next video. Thank you for watching.